If you are a beginner who wants to improve their game and skill then you found the right video. I will show you 10 crucial tips that will not only help you in the beginning but further on through your Blocks Fruits journey. So even if you're a bit advanced player you can still find a lot of useful information so make sure to watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shout out in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments what level are you currently in Blocks Fruits. Of course when you're in the first C as a beginner you're going to encounter a lot of advanced players who want to show off and they are going to kill you. Also they steal your bosses, fruits and etc. So how do you avoid them? Well when you're on the Roblox Blocks Fruits page go to servers and where it says descending select ascending option. So the servers are going to appear with the least amount of players first so you can join them. I suggest you join the servers with 3 to 4 players because those with 1 to 2 players a lot of times don't work. So that's how you can get these free private servers which will allow you to grind out of the first C in peace. So most of the Blocks Fruit players know this but if you're new besides Rarity Fruits are divided into 3 groups based on their nature. These 3 categories are Beast, Natural and Elemental Fruits. So which category is best for beginners? Well it's 100% Elemental Fruits. Why? If you pass a certain level requirement, it's really small, it allows you to be invincible to your NPC enemies. This is really helpful in the first C because normal enemies can cause a lot of damage compared to other Cs. Now what elemental fruits are good to be exact? The best one for you would be light fruit because of its travel capabilities but also magma, flame and ice are really good alternatives. So yeah. So if you happen to roll a legendary fruit early on in the first C the first thing that comes to your mind would be to eat it which would be a really big mistake. And you may ask why? Well first of all it would be much more valuable if you store it and keep it till you reach second or even third C because you can trade it. But also, if you already have a good elemental fruit and you eat a legendary fruit, which all of them are focused on PvP, you are wasting your grinding potential for PvP. And trust me, thing in the first C is kind of pointless if you compare it to the third C. So, if you get a legendary fruit just store it and wait until you can really use it to its full potential. Now this tip is for straight up newbies, so, if you press button Q on your keyboard your character will dash, and dashes are the fastest way you move around without any additional items, fruits, swords and etc. So if you want to move around the fastest just keep pressing Q. But keep in mind that it drains your energy so if you want to have more energy just put more skill points in your melee stat. Said it was for beginners. Now let's say you don't want a main elemental fruit and you want to do it with a sword. In the first C as a beginner you don't have much swords to choose from. But, even though there are many of them there is always a best option. And that is Saber, Saber V2 if possible. It has one of the highest damage out of all swords in the game and you can get it by completing Shank's puzzle. So make sure to not miss out on it. Again as a beginner you can prevent a lot of mistakes which could slow down your progress drastically. So going by that rule you have to watch out for stat points. You get 3 stat points every time you level up which you can put into melee, sword, fruit, gun and defense. You should decide between fruit and sword and start putting points evenly in melee, defense and fruit slash sword. Doing that will allow you to get the most out of your items. I'm sure a lot of players know about codes but those who don't know must know about them. There are actually many codes which give you free stat resets and 2 XP boosts. Now these XP boosts are what are you most interested in when you're first C. But, don't go too hard and use all of them at once because they may be more valuable when you reach second or third C. You should use them in the first C only when you're stuck at some difficult to grind enemies or bosses so you can grind the lower level enemies faster. I should make a new video about codes so hold tight. If you're playing this game for the first time you're going to encounter countless things that you don't know what to do with. And you can ask other players, and you will actually get sometimes answer from good helpful players. But, the fastest and safest way to gather necessary information is by visiting the Blocks Fruits Wiki. I use it always to make videos and I will leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. So as a beginner you won't be making tons of money. So you have to manage that money smartly. One of the biggest money wasters is buying unnecessary fighting styles like Dark Step, Electro and etc. So what should you buy? You should buy the Water Kung Fu from the Water Kung Fu teacher in the Underwater City, level 375, first C, for 750k Peli. 
I mean fighting styles will only help you if you have Buddha and since you should be using an elemental fruit to grind you shouldn't focus too much on fighting styles. But since this one will help you in the second C it's the one to go for. If you're not rich but you have some spare robux what is the best way to spend it? Well, you could buy all sorts of stuff but the most valuable for you would be the 2x money, mastery and xp. So those are the ones that I would buy. Guys here are all the videos that should help you with the tips that I gave you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.